89-year-old Wan Ok Gil took no comfort in remembering her past as she sat beside the Girl of Peace statue. Instead, it was a haunting reminder of being forced into prostitution by the Japanese during World War II. She was 13 years old. I do not feel happy remembering, she told the Korean community who'd gathered in Sydney's west to see Australia's first comfort girl monument. She's a living evidence. She's a living uh, witness about this terrible uh, historical fact. The statue honours the victims of military sexual slavery. South Korean activists estimate there are as many as 200,000 Korean victims, but not everyone welcomed the memorial. One of the major obstacles was uh, from the Japanese uh, community group in Sydney. Uh, they were contacting uh, local councils to deter this, uh, this particular opening ceremony. But where the statue will permanently live continues to be a contentious issue after local Japanese groups successfully lobbied Strathfield Council against publicly displaying it, arguing it will increase tensions between local Japanese and Korean community groups. After seeing coverage of the rejection, Reverend Bill Cruz intervened. It just seemed to me outrageous that so many women over so long suffered and were being forced to suffer again because they weren't allowed to have a statue up in, in their memory. And I thought, well, this is wrong. And so I said, put it in my church. Sam Migawa from the Australia-Japan Community Network lobbied against today's event, citing evidence of racial tension on the US West Coast, where similar monuments were erected. I would like to protect our children from the discrimination or bullying from the other ethnic group or Korean people. But Reverend Bill Cruz won't bow to pressure and wants to be part of a public visual reminder of all the women and children who suffered. Antoinette Latouf, ABC News. Thank you.